Okay guys, so let's go for another attempt here and see if we can get this shiny Ponyta. And there it is! Okay, shiny Ponyta. Let's go guys! Hey guys, how's it going? Lazy Hunter here. Today I'm going to show you how to get a 100% guaranteed wild shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Fire Red or Leaf Green. Now this method works for any wild shiny Pokemon and it also works for any console. Okay, but be aware that this is very difficult to do in emulators since the way the frames advance in emulators, it's a little bit different. Okay, so just watch out for that. But if you're using a real cartridge, you should be fine with any console. Now, if you have any questions regarding the methods I'm going to do here, hit me up on Discord. Okay, the link's down in the description. It's the best way to ask me questions. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Now for the in-game requirements, there's a few things you're going to need to check. The first one is knowing your trainer and secret ID combination. You can achieve this uh, with four uh, options, okay? The first one is to get the shiny starter, okay, which I already have a video on this. The link's down in the description, okay, for that one if you guys want to check it. So you get the shiny starter and you also know your trainer and secret ID combination. Now, the second option to know your secret ID is by having a shiny Pokemon, okay, already in your safe file. So if you don't want to start over, that's perfectly fine, okay? As long as you have a shiny, you can know your secret ID. Now, I'm not going to do a tutorial on this, so if you guys want to know, how to do this, hit me up on Discord. Now, as for the third option, uh, there's something called arbitrary code execution, okay? I did a video on this uh, for Fry Red, and you can actually change your secret ID to any secret ID that you want, okay? So this makes it the third option in order to know your secret ID. And I'll also leave a link uh, in the description for this video. And last but not least, you can also use PKX, okay? PKX is a software that you can basically manipulate uh, save files, okay? But you can sort of use it as a read-only program so you don't actually have to manipulate or change anything within your save file. You can just check your secret ID, okay, which is fairly easy. If you're doing this on emulators, this is fairly easy to extract the save file. And if you're using a real cartridge, uh, you may have a GB operator or some sort. I'll also leave a link down in the description for this program. Now, the second thing you're going to need in-game, okay, is to come over here to options and you have to make sure that you have the sound set to stereo and the button mode set to L equals A, okay? This is very, very important and this method will not work if you don't have these particular options, okay? Now, I'm actually going to tell you um, later in this video why I have to set these options in order for this to work, okay? Uh, this has to do with the seeds that Lazy RNG has. Okay, Lazy RNG, it's basically a program that I developed specifically for generation three, and it's sort of limited to a particular like pool of seeds. Okay, uh, so it doesn't have all of them, but this is basically uh, a way to make this easier for you. So just make sure that you have these options here. Okay, only the sound and the button mode matters. Okay, anything else, you can leave it as you wish. Now, another thing that you're going to need is rare candies. Rare candies are very important. Okay in order to level up the Pokemon that we catch, okay, prior to the shiny Pokemon, so we can calibrate towards the right frame, okay? We're gonna have to level up our Pokemon a little bit so we can know its IVs, okay? And then we can troubleshoot and know which target advance uh, we actually hit. So just have a bunch of rare candies, okay? The more you have, the better your results are going to be. Now, the next thing we're gonna need is a Master Ball. You may only have like just one Master Ball, okay? Because we're not actually gonna spend this Master Ball. Uh, this is just so we can catch the Pokemon right away. Also, you're going to need a Pokemon with Sweet Scent, okay, with the move Sweet Scent. In this case, I have Oddish here with Sweet Scent. Uh, you don't need Oddish, okay, any Pokemon will do, as long as it has uh, Sweet Scent and it's in your party. Also, I didn't tell it, but we're going to be catching a Shiny Ponita here uh, in Kindle Road. So just make sure that you are in the spot that you want to catch your wild Pokemon. Okay, so out of game, we're going to need two tools only, okay, we're going to be using Lazy RNG 2.1 and we're going to be using Gen 3 Seed Assistant by Papa Jefe. I'll leave a link for both of these programs in the description down below. Now, Lazy RNG is, like I said, a program that I developed specifically for Generation 3, okay? So what you want to do with Lazy RNG here, you want to set your version, okay? In this case, it's going to be Fire Red 1.1 for me, okay? The way you figure out which version you have for Fire Red is by checking the Game Freak logo at the start, okay, in the intro. If it says the word presents, it's Fire Red 1.1, and if it doesn't, it's 1.0. Now, as for the language here, I'm going to set this to English because I'm going to be using a real Fire Red uh, English cartridge for this, okay? As for the console, I'm going to be using a fat Nintendo DS for this, so the original Nintendo DS, so I'm going to set this to NDS here. And as for the method, we're going to set this to wild. 
after setting all of these settings here, all you have to do is just hit the button search, okay? And basically the seeds um, that you see right here are the seeds that you can hit, okay, within Fire Red uh, 1.1 here or the version that you choose. And this seed will be generated from the moment that you start the game until you press A at the end of the intro. So basically in Fire Red or Leaf Green, you have two moments in RNG manipulation, okay? You have the seed generation, okay? Uh, which basically happens from the moment that you start the game until the end of the intro. And then right after that, you have the frame advances. Okay, so the normal Gen 3 frame advances. So in order to hit the target that you want, you always have to hit the correct seed that you were aiming for. And you also have to hit the correct frame advance. And as you can tell, this is a little bit more difficult than it is for example, in Pokemon Emerald, where you just have to uh, get your frame advance, okay? Not the seed, because the seed is always seed zero. So with that being said, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to get a few seeds uh, from this list, okay? You don't want to get the early seeds here because uh, these seeds correspond to very low like entry timers. So you're not going to have enough time to see the whole intro Okay, and skip it afterwards. So I would just go for something around like 150. Okay, so that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So I'm just going to go for like uh, C954, okay, which is seed number 150 here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to take like 20 seeds below and 20 seeds above these 150 here. And then I'm going to check um, which shiny frames do I have uh, in these particular seeds within like very low frame advances so I can hit a relatively close uh, shiny target because in this video I'm not going to go for a particular shiny okay with specific stats and specific nature I'm just going to go for the closest possible shiny frame so with that being said like I said we're going to get uh, 20 seeds below and 20 seeds above so I'm just going to go over here to 130 okay so I'm just going to get this 130 here and then I'm going to go all the way up to 170 okay so 20 below and 20 above so that makes it these seeds here, so around 40 seeds. Then I'm going to control C, okay, like that. And then I'm going to paste it here on this box that says clean seeds, because we're going to have to clean all of this, uh, all of these characters here, so we can paste them uh, in Gen 3 Seed Assistant. So after doing this, you can just hit clean here and you get all of the seeds here. So once you do that, you can just enter this text box here, press control A to select everything, and then control C again, and then you can paste here in enter seeds. Then you can remove these uh, empty spaces, okay? Now the timers uh, for these seeds should be enough for you to enter, okay? Uh, watch the entire intro, and you should have a few seconds still left uh, in order to skip the intro. Now, as for the method, okay, this should be set to method one, okay? Just make sure that you have method H1, okay? This is for the wild uh, Pokemon, okay? So just select method H1 here. As for the target advances, like I said, we're gonna go for the closest possible shiny frame, okay? So we're just gonna set this to like 1000 here, and then I'm gonna set this to 99 like so. So, okay, now as for the filters, okay, we're going to start with the most obvious ones, which are the trainer and secret ID here. So you're going to have to input your trainer and secret ID in these boxes. So this is my trainer ID right here, and this is my secret ID right here. Now, as for the game here, you're going to have to set this to fire red or leaf green, okay, depending on the game they're playing. As for the encounter, I'm going to encounter this Ponita in the grass. Now, as for the location, I'm currently in Kindle Road. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to go over here to Kindle Road, okay, and then, and then I'm going to select like Kindle Road. And as for the Pokemon, like I said, we're going for Ponita, okay? Uh, whatever location you choose, you should always get your Pokemon right here. As for Synchronize, uh, this is the ability to Synchronize, okay? Uh, we're not going to be using this, so if you guys want to follow along exactly how I'm doing right now, uh, just don't get any Pokemon in the leader of your party with Synchronize. Also, as you can see, once we pick our Ponita, uh, our encounter slot will populate here one and three automatically so you don't have to worry about this at all. Also one last thing what we're going to do is we're going to set the shiny to start and square. This makes it so we get every result for shiny Ponyta. Now this is going to be my filters okay if you guys want any other specifications you can set them right here okay. Uh, same thing for the ability for the gender uh, for the nature so you guys can like filter as much as you want okay. If you don't get any results uh, you can always increase the amount of seeds, okay? Don't worry about that. Uh, and you can always uh, increase the amount of target advances, okay? In this case, like I said, I'm going to go for the nearest possible shiny frame, but you guys can increase this as much as you'd like. And after you set every single filter here, we're going to hit search like that. Now, as you can see, uh, this result right here is on 1158. It has impish nature. 
uh, the seed is this one right here. Okay, it has these IVs. It's going to be on level 31 as well. So from now, you can always pick whatever you want. Okay, in this case, I'm going to go for this one right here because this is the closest possible shiny frame that I can hit, okay, which is on advanced 1158. So if you guys want to follow along exactly how I'm doing and you want to get your Ponyta, uh, just go for this uh, particular advance right now, okay, and then you can go uh, into another Pokemon and just apply the same methods that you do with this Ponyta. And once you get your target here, all you want to do is go back to Lazy RNG, okay? And we're going to set our target seed and our target frame, okay? So as for the target seed, uh, this is going to be A171 uh, for me, okay? So I'm just going to set this to A171, okay? As for the target frame, we're going to set this to 1158 like so, okay? And this is going to be uh, our timer. This is going to be the first timer, okay? So this is going to be the seed timer, and this is going to be the frame advanced timer. Now, a very important thing, uh, after uh, getting these timers right here, you're gonna wanna hit search, okay? Because lazy RNG will highlight uh, the target seed that you're going for, uh, in yellow, okay, like so. Now, this seed right here, so this A171, this is actually seed 159, okay? So we're not gonna keep um, the seeds that we've inputted right here, okay? This was just to get a shiny target, okay? Now we actually have to replace these seeds with the agency seeds from the one that we are going for. In this case, it's going to be 159. And now this is totally up to you, the amount of seeds that you input in Gen 3 Seed Assistant. If you feel like you were very precise, you don't have to input that many, okay? But if you are starting out your calibration, it's good to have uh, a big amount of seeds. Uh, so we can know for sure like 100% which target we get first. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go for like 20 below. Okay, so I'm going to go for like uh, 140 here. So I'm going to get like 140 all the way up to uh, 180. Okay, so this makes it like 20 below and 20 above. So I'm going to get these seeds right here. I'm going to control C, come over here to clean seeds, control A, control V, and then clean them up like that. And then we get all of the adjacent uh, seeds for our target seed. Okay, so I'm just going to control C like that. I'm going to control A, then control V. After inputting your seeds, all you have to do is change your target advances to 1158. Okay, so this is the target advance that I'm going for. Now, as for this margin right here, we're actually going to start off with 100 target advances. Okay, 100 frames here, it's fine. Okay, and 20 here uh, for a margin, it's pretty decent. So... You guys should have a bunch of results, but we're going to narrow down those results with our rare candies. And this is very important to do all of this setup, okay, and have these R margins at the start because you want to be 100% sure that you know what you hit in this first attempt in order to calibrate properly. So once you do that, you want to go back to lazy RNG here, so we have our timer. Now, something I didn't mention is this pre-timer right here, okay? Uh, this is something that you can set yourself. This is in milliseconds, so if you want to set this to like... Five seconds, this is 5,000 milliseconds, okay? This is just a pre-timer before the actual timer for the seed generation. Also, if you get lost in this seeds uh, box right here, you can just hit search again, and this will automatically like teleport you to your target seed. Now that we have everything set, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restart my game. Okay, I'm gonna restart my Nintendo DS here. Um, you can hard reset, okay, if you're on GBA, for example. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start the game at the same time that I start my timer here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start my timer, okay, on this start button right here. So I'm just gonna press it like that. So one, two, three, go. And now my game will start, okay? And now you actually wanna watch the entire Fire Red or Leaf Green intro, okay? That's just how it goes. Uh, and once it ends, we're gonna press A. Uh, and then you kinda wanna hold A, okay? You just don't wanna press it and release it right away. Let's go here. So this is going to be the end of this intro. Okay, and now you want to hold A, okay, I'm still holding A, and then you can release it like that, and we're going to press A again, and now we're going to um, use our sweet send here, okay, so 7 seconds left, and this is going to be the second timer. Okay, and now we just use sweet send, and now we're going to see exactly what we got, okay, for our, for, for our first target, okay. And we got a Ponyta, uh, it's not shiny, okay? It's not supposed to be shiny right away, okay? You'd have to be very lucky for, for that to happen. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna catch it with a Master Ball, okay? This is why we use Master Balls, because it's just way easier to, to catch uh, the Pokemon with Master Balls. And then we can check its stats right away. So we just got this Ponyta, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna check its stats. Okay, so now what you want to do with this Pokemon is you want to come back here to Gen 3 Seed Assistant. You want to set the Pokemon that you got, okay? Uh, let's pretend I was going for a Ponyta here and I got a Rapidash. Uh, you have to input those stats as well, okay? For the Rapidash. So here is the Pokemon that you caught. In this case, it's going to be Ponyta. 
right here. As for the nature, it's quirky, so let's just select quirky from this list. If you press the first letter of the nature, it will sort of like teleport you to the ones that have that first letter, so it's quirky here. Now, as for the stats, this is level 34, okay? So the first one is the, the level, okay? So level 34. Next one is going to be the HP, so 84 like that. Then we have uh, the attack, so 63. And you get the deal, right? It's 44, 53 like that, 56, and finally 74. Then once you input the stats here, you can just hit this button right here that says calculate IV ranges. So we're gonna do that, okay? And as you can see, uh, this will change the filters here. Okay, that's perfectly normal. And one thing we have to do still is uncheck this shiny box right here to any. Okay, this is very important because we did not get the shiny Ponyta. Also, another very important thing you can do here is set the gender ratio. Okay, for Ponyta, it's a 50-50% gender ratio. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to select this first option that says 50-50. Okay, for male and female. And in this case, I got a female. So I'm just going to go with female like so. And after you do that, uh, we should be on method H1, like I said, and we can just hit search after that. Okay, so we didn't actually find any results, okay, in method H1. I'm gonna check method H2, uh, just to see if we got anything there, okay, and we don't, okay, and that's perfectly fine. Okay? This just means that I'm way too off in terms of seed or frame advances, okay? So what I'm gonna do here, I'm actually gonna just increase this to like 300 and see if we get anything here, okay, and we don't. Let me just check both of these methods here, H2 and H4. And if we don't get anything and we don't, it probably means that we are off on our seed. So remember that I went for 20 below and 20 above my target seed. I'm actually going to go for a lot more right now. Okay, so I'm actually going to go for like 100 here. So I'm going to take this 100 and I'm going to go all the way up to 200. Okay, and see if we get any result that way. So I'm just going to get this like so. Control A, Control V, I'm going to clean it up. Control A, Control C, and then I'm going to get all of these seeds uh, because I may be uh, off by a lot, okay, in terms of seeds. So I'm just going to hit search again. And as you can see, this time around, we actually get a few results. Now, I noticed right away that they are exactly the same, okay, in terms of PID, in terms of uh, IVs, everything. So everything is pretty much the same. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually just going to give it a rare candy, okay, just to make sure and confirm that one of these is actually the target that I got, okay. So I'm just going to give it a rare candy, okay, a quick rare candy here. To make sure that this is the target so i'm gonna use a red candy here and you see it on ponita here and now the stats will increase okay and i'm actually going to input these stats right now so this is how you want to use red candy so in this case i'm going to go for level 35 this is going to be 87 and then 76 okay and after you do that you just press calculate iv ranges once again and then we're going to hit search and as you can see uh, both of these results still show up, okay, which is good. It means that probably one of these uh, results right here is the one that I got. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to calibrate towards uh, the first one right here. And this pretty much means that I was off by like almost like 200 frames or something. Um, which is fine, okay, it's a lot, but it's fine as long as you know how to troubleshoot the situation, okay? So, I'm just gonna get these advances right here, this is what you want to do, you want to go back to laser RNG, and I'm gonna say that the frame hit that I got was this one, okay? And as for the seed, it was 4418, so I'm gonna get this seed right here, and I'm just gonna do it like that, and we're gonna click update, okay? And this will actually give me a new timer, okay? This is going to be my new timer, and as you can see, uh, we actually hit 128, so this is the seed that we hit, 128 and I was aiming for 159 okay so I was a little bit too early here so what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna go again with this new timer okay the one uh, that was generated right now after you hit update so let's start this so one two three go and now we do uh, pretty much the same okay so you want to uh, watch the entire intro and once the intro ends we just hold a um, until we are on the save file selection uh, let's go. All right, you want to keep holding A like that. Then you can press A again. And let's set up this switch scent right now. Okay. We just use switch scent like that. And let's see which target we got. Now, this time uh, it should actually be a very, um, very close target. Okay. Closer than the last one, of course. So let's see if we actually got it. Now, this time around, we actually got a Pharaoh, okay, which is fine. We just have to input the same um, stats like we did last time for Ponyta. So we just got this Pharaoh here. So let's check its stats. So what do you want to do here? 
is you want to input the Pokemon that you got. In this case, it's going to be Pharaoh. It's a serious nature. So let me just search for series here. So serious nature like so. Now, as for the stats, we got a level 36 with 103 HP, 71, then 53, then 85. Okay. And after you do that, you just calculate IV ranges once again. Okay. Now, a very important thing is um, you kind of want to set this encounter slot to any. Okay. Because you may get another Pokemon, uh, a different one that you were going for. Uh, you were going for Ponita, or I am going for Ponita, so this um, gets filled automatically, so you want to set this to any again. So after calculating your IVs once again here, uh, you need to check if the gender ratio is the same, okay? In this case for Pharaoh, it's exactly the same, okay? So 50-50, and it's also a female. And after you set every single filter here, once again, we can just hit search, and this time around, we actually got the correct frame advances and we hit seed 7159, okay? So pretty happy about this attempt here. So this was second attempt and we instantly got the correct frame advance, okay? Which is 1158. Also, if you don't get results, always try to check for H2, H4. So this time we actually got 1158, okay? Which is the target advance that I was going for, which is perfect. Now, as for the seed, let's check exactly where we are in terms of seed, um offset okay so i'm gonna go for the seed hit i'm gonna set this to this and as for the frame advances this is 1158 okay so i'm just gonna do it like that and just gonna hit update and as you can see i was uh one two three seeds uh below uh my target seed okay which is very close decently close and as for the target advance this is exactly the one that i was going for so that timer won't change, okay? It's 1676. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna attempt this again. So I'm just gonna restart my console and then I'm gonna go again with this new timer, okay? So we can hit both our seed and our target events. Okay, so let's go for this third attempt here with this new timer. So let's go one, two, three, go. And hopefully now we can actually hit both our seed and our frame advance, okay? Now, it's very likely that you're going to miss by one or two uh, on both your seed and your frame advance, okay? Don't worry about that because you have to be very precise. It all comes down to the millisecond, okay? So, as soon as you get this thing calibrated, okay, uh, which I have right now, uh, you're going to be going around one or two frames, uh, so just stay with the same timer, okay? You get to a point that it doesn't matter if you change the timer too much and calibrate too much, just stick to one and try to hit it until you get your shiny. Okay, so this time we actually got a Sparrow. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat the same process uh, for this Sparrow and I'm gonna check its stats and see exactly what we hit. Don't forget about the gender ratio. Okay, this is still 50-50, but this is a male Sparrow. Okay, so I have to change this to male and everything else, uh, we're good, okay? Uh, make sure that you have your encounter slot set to any. Uh, you calculated IV ranges and you're gonna go again, okay? And we actually have a few results this time, okay? But these ones don't really count, okay? At least for this one. This one doesn't really count because this frame advance, it's actually very far from 1158. So this is most likely the one that we hit. And I can tell you that for sure because of this column right here that says level. This will automatically eliminate these two, okay? Level 31 and level 36 because my Sparrow, it's a level 32. So this is exactly what we hit. So we hit 1154 and 7159, okay? Seed hit, it's 71 and then 59, like so. So once again, and as for the frame hit, we actually hit 1154, okay? And we're gonna hit update and this will update our timer slightly. Okay, so we can go again and eventually get this shiny Ponita. All right, so let's go again here with this new attempt. Okay guys, so let's go for another attempt here and see if we can get this shiny Ponita. And there it is! Okay, shiny Ponyta. Let's go, guys. So now that we got this shiny Ponyta, I'm actually going to catch it, okay, so we can check its stats. And you guys can see that this was exactly the shiny Ponyta that I was aiming for. All right, so let's catch it here with a Master Ball right away. Okay, and now what we're going to do is I'm actually going to check this shiny Ponyta here. And let's check uh, its stats. So this is a Ponyta. Okay, so I'm just going to go for Ponyta right here. As for the nature, this is an impish nature. Okay, I actually remember that the, um, the nature was impish. So let's set this to impish. As for the stats, um, this is a 31. Okay, level 31, 81. This is male. Okay, so I'm going to set this to male like so. And we're going to calculate IV ranges again. And we're going to hit search. And as you can see, uh, there we have it. Let me just shrink these columns right here so you guys can see that it's shiny. And as you can see, there we have it, this column shiny. So we hit uh, frame advance 
1158, okay, uh, this is level 31, so that checks out. And as for the C, this is A171, and as you can see in Lazy RNG, this was exactly what I was aiming for. Also, guys, when you are troubleshooting uh, your targets, don't forget to check uh, for other methods, okay? method H2 and H4, okay? If you don't uh, see any results in method H1, they can uh, be on H4 as well, so check for those. Uh, do not discard these methods and keep in mind that this method may take a while okay it's very hard to hit both your seed and your target frame advance okay at the same time so um just expect to be here for a few hours okay uh but you'll eventually get it uh either way and that's pretty much it guys so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions regarding this method hit me up on discord okay the link's down in the description if you found this helpful leave it a like subscribe and i'll see you on the next one so it's been lazy hunter and i'm out peace Thank you.